you testified that the FBI did not investigate the veracity of Secretary Clinton's testimony to the Select Benghazi Committee uh, under oath. We referred the matter to the United States Attorney for the District of Columbia. Is the FBI now investigating the veracity of Secretary Clinton's testimony to the Select Benghazi Committee? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The department has the referral. I think there were two separate referrals. Has the referrals. Now it's pending. And so there's, I'm not going to comment on a pending matter at this point. But the matter has been received by the Department of Justice. Uh, they have the letters from the committee. And you cannot tell us whether or not you are indeed investigating? I can't. Uh, when do you expect that you'll be able to tell us more about this pending matter before the, the, the FBI? I don't know, sir. Paul Combetta with Platte River Networks posted to Reddit asking how to strip out a VIP's very VIP email address from a bunch of archived email, quote, end quote. He went on, quote, the issue is that these emails involve the private email address of someone you'd recognize and we're trying to replace it with a placeholder address as to not expose it, end quote. This clearly demonstrates actions taken to destroy evidence by those operating Secretary Clinton's private server and by her staff. Certainly, Combetta did not take it upon himself to destroy evidence, but had been instructed to do so by Secretary Clinton or her staff. So my first question to you is, was the FBI aware of this Reddit post prior to offering Mr. Combetta immunity on May 3, 2016? I'm not sure. I know that our team looked at it. I don't know whether they knew about it before then or not. Isn't this information evidence of obstruction of justice and a violation of Mr. Combetta's immunity deal? Not necessarily, no. Why not? It depends on what his intention was, why he wanted to do it. And I think our team concluded that what he was trying to do was, when they produced emails, not have the actual address but have some name or placeholder instead of the actual .com address in the uh, from line. Last week, the American people learned that Cheryl Mills, Secretary Clinton's longtime confidant and former State Department Chief of Staff, and Heather Samuelson, counsel to Secretary Clinton in the State Department, were granted immunity for production of their laptops. Why were they not targets of the FBI's criminal investigation? A target is someone on whom you have sufficient evidence to indict. A subject is someone whose conduct at some point during the investigation falls within the scope of the investigation. So certainly with respect to Ms. Mills, at least initially, because she was an email correspondent, uh, she was a subject of the investigation. Did the FBI find classified information on either of their computers? I think there were some emails still on the computer that were recovered that were classified, is my recollection. Isn't that a crime? Is what a crime, sir? Having classified information on computers that are outside of the server system of the Department of State. Unsecured. No, it's certainly something, without knowing more, you couldn't conclude whether it was a crime. You'd have to know what were the circumstances, what was the intention around that. But it's certainly something, it's the reason we conducted a year-long investigation to understand where uh, emails had gone on an unclassified system that contained classified information. And what did you determine with regard to the emails found on her computer? That e I hope I'm getting this right, and my troops will correct me if I'm wrong, but they were duplicates of emails that had been produced because the emails had been used to... Um, sort before a production. Now, uh, both uh, Cheryl Mills and Heather Samuelson were granted immunity for production of these uh, computers, these laptops. Why were they then allowed to sit in on the interview with Secretary Clinton? Right. The, the Department of Justice reached a letter agreement with the two lawyers to give them what's called act of production immunity meaning nothing that's found on their, the laptop they turn over will be used against them directly, uh, and which is a fairly normal tool in investigations. They were, uh, Ms. Mills in particular was a member of the uh, Secretary Clinton's legal team, and so Secretary Clinton decides which of her lawyers come to voluntary interviews with the FBI. Is it usual to allow a witness or potential witness 
uh, in a subsequent prosecution, had one been undertaken, uh, to be present uh, in the room when the FBI uh, interviews uh, another witness and potential target of an investigation. The FBI has no ability to exclude or include any lawyer that a subject being interviewed chooses to even, have there. Even if the lawyer is a witness in the case, can you cite any other instance in which a witness to a criminal investigation who has already been interviewed by the FBI has been allowed to accompany and serve as legal counsel to the target of that investigation? I can't from personal experience. It wouldn't surprise me if it happened. The Department of Justice, excuse me, the FBI has no ability to decide who comes to an interview in a voluntary interview context. If it was judicial proceeding, a judge could police who could be there. And obviously lawyers are governed by canons of ethics to decide what matters they can be involved in. But it doesn't fall to us to say you can be in, you can't be in. But wouldn't you agree that it is a conflict of interest for them to serve as attorneys for Secretary Clinton in this matter, having been interviewed by the FBI as witnesses? That's a question a lawyer has to answer for him or herself. You're a lawyer, <laughs> Director Comey. What's your opinion of that? Oh, I don't want to offer an opinion on that, but that's something a lawyer has to decide for themselves. I, I assume with counsel and consulting our canons of ethics, what matters you can be involved in and what you can't. But again, the Bureau's role in conducting a voluntary interview is to interview the subject. Who they bring is up to them. How can you trust the veracity of Secretary Clinton's answers knowing that witnesses previously interviewed by the FBI were allowed to participate in the interview? We assess the answers based on what's said and all the other evidence we've gathered. In, in consultation another... with her, quote, attorneys who are also witnesses to what was previously done earlier and may, in fact, have themselves violated the law for which they requested and were granted immunity. And the answer is, excuse me, the answer is the same. We make the assessment based on what the witness says and the other evidence we've gathered in the case. Who's sitting there, to me, is not particularly germane. Thank you. My time's expired. The